Hello Vault Dweller, we're back in the wasteland again, but this time we're not going to be talking about lasers or giant bugs or the deadly effects of radiation. No, this time we're going to figure out why the tastiest soda in the post-apocalyptic world glows blue. It'll be physics-tastic! Wait, no that's stupid. It'll be rad. There's still a lot of physics though. First of all, a bit of background. In the Fallout universe, Nuka-Cola is the most popular soft drink, and it comes with a bit of mm, radioactive kick. Nuka-Cola Quantum, a drink that in the games provides some serious boost to your character, is even more radioactive. It glows a telltale blue thanks to a radioactive isotope. According to Fallout lore, that isotope is Strontium-90, or SR-90, for short. It's an isotope of the element strontium, meaning that it has a different number of neutrons than elemental strontium, and it's radioactive because of it. SR90 is a byproduct of nuclear fission, and though it is radioactive, we have found uses for it in everything from toothpaste to glow sticks. Uh, strontium 90, killer groove, brah brah. So why does this isotope make Nuka-Cola Quantum glow blue? Oh, am I dying? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We can't assume the game is correct about all nuclear physics. So first, can nuclear radiation make things glow? Then can it make things glow blue? And if so, can SR90 produce the same effect? Stop it, I don't wanna try it yet. Stop it. All right, I know the screen is black. Just wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Bam! How cool was that? That was a nuclear reactor submerged in water roaring to life. No, seriously, they really glow blue. We've answered our first two questions. Yes, radiation can make things glow and glow blue. And better yet, because soda is mostly water, there's a good chance that Nuka-Cola Quantum could glow blue because of nuclear radiation. And it's starting to look pretty tasty. Next, we have to find out if strontium-90 can do what that nuclear reactor did. <laughs> See? Science paid off! That nuclear reactor was glowing blue because of something called Cherenkov radiation, named after Pavel Cherenkov, who won the Nobel Prize in 1958 for discovering it. Light is the fastest thing in the universe, but only in a vacuum. When it meets another medium, like water, it slows down up to 25%. That means that in water, other things can go faster than the speed of light. Those things could be electrons. When certain radioactive elements decay, they can produce beta radiation, which is basically just a stream of electrons. And some of these electrons can have such a high energy that they can move faster than light does through water. And when they do, they disturb the electromagnetic field of that water. Let's say an electron is causing a disturbance in water here, 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 and here. These disturbances then ripple out from these points, kind of like when you toss a rock into a pond, but with light. But because the particle is actually traveling faster than these disturbances are, it creates a kind of shock front. And this shock front adds up to have a high frequency, the frequency of blue light. Yep, nuclear reactors glow blue because there's particles making little sonic booms of light. So what does this all mean for Nuka-Cola Quantum? Well, strontium-90 and the elements that it decays into actually produce beta radiation, which produce Cherenkov radiation. So Nuka-Cola Quantum glows blue because it has nuclear waste levels of strontium-90 in it that produce Cherenkov radiation inside the water of the bottle. Yes! Yes! But like we went through on a previous Nuka-Cola science episode, you definitely wouldn't want to drink Nuka-Cola Quantum. And strontium-90 in particular acts like calcium does in our bodies because it's kind of the same size as calcium atoms, and it finds its way into our bones and bone marrow. So drinking Nuka-Cola Quantum would definitely increase your risk of blood and bone cancers. Uh, so... No! No, I told you, I don't want to drink it, it's bad, because science is bad. Thank you so much for watching. Let's talk about astronaut poop for a second. Um, where do you think they put all that stuff? They don't keep it on a space station or in a spacecraft, so what do they do with it? Well, um, 
there's a lot of bags of poop on the moon. And sometimes, when you're looking up to the stars above at night and you see a shooting star, that's astronaut poop that has been jettisoned and is burning up in the atmosphere. So, wish upon a feces.